If x is a multiple of 12, x will definitely be a multiple of 4. For example, x is equal to 12 in the class, right? Is it a multiple of 4? Yes. x is equal to 24. Is it a multiple of 4? Yes. Because any multiple of 12 is a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 3. So, if it is a multiple of 12, it necessarily will be a multiple of 4. So, do we get a unique answer? x is a multiple of 12, it is a multiple of 4, 12 y here in the class. X is a, if x is 24, it is a multiple of 12, it is a multiple of 4. 24 are in the Are we getting a single answer? No. We have 8 possible answers, right? All multiples of 12 less than 100 could be possible answers for it. We've been able to find a counter example. Unique our answer varla. 12 are 24 are 36 are 48 are 60 are All of these will satisfy the condition that it's a multiple of 12 less than 100 and it is a multiple of 4. So, in not having a unique answer, statement 1 alone is not sufficient. 1 alone is not sufficient. Na? If we eliminate panna di, answer option A. 2 alone is sufficient, we will go with B. If we combine it sufficient, we will go with C. Combine money on na, then we will go with D. Let us take a look at statement 2 alone. It says x is a multiple of 15, which means x is a multiple of x is a multiple of 12 and a multiple of 15 and it is less than 100. And the mari value you can pakla. If it's a multiple of 12 and multiple of 15, it's a common multiple of 12 and 15. We'll find out the smallest common multiple of 12 and 15. X could be any multiple which is a multiple of the LCM of these two. First one, the first common multiple, X is the least value, minimum value in Nanpakra, which is the LCM of 12 and 15. What is the LCM of 12 and 15? 12 on the prime factor is panona, we'll get 2 square into 3. 15 a prime factor is panona, we will get 3 into 5. So, the LCM is equal to 2 square into 3 into 5, which is 12 into 5, which is equal to 60. So, x would have least value 60. So, 60 is the smallest number that is both a multiple of 12 and a multiple of 15. What is the next value that will satisfy both these conditions? The next value that will satisfy it is the next multiple of 60. You know multiple of 12, 10 times 12 and a multiple of 15, 8 times 15. But is it less than 100? No. So, any multiple of 60 other than 60 will always be values which are greater than 100. It should be less than 100. So, less than 100 multiple of 12, multiple of 15. How number One or number which is essentially 60. We found it using statement 2 alone. 2 alone is sufficient, then answer option is choice B. We can eliminate C and D. B is the answer to this question.